we are going bass fishing and uh, I'm in I'm with a buddy that I that I haven't fished with in in quite some time probably probably about a year actually turn that off so you guys can hear me probably about about a year uh, we are in his boat we only have probably less than three hours to fish though uh, because it's like 6.30 and the sun sets at like 9 o'clock. So it's for sure going to be a challenge today uh, to get, you know, a quality video for all you guys in a matter of just a couple hours on a lake I haven't been to all year long. I don't think Christian's been here, I don't think at all this year. Uh, we're going to fish deep though. We're going to go after big ones only. So it may be one of those videos where I only catch a couple fish, but hopefully they're the right size. I'm tired of catching a flutter fish. Time to catch some true Nebraska brutes. All right, I am starting with a 10-inch worm christian up front there starting with a jig and this is brush yeah brush with, brush brush with some grass man. brush with grass that is what we're gonna give a shot for the first oh i missed one. oh geez okay all right just missed one wild in here. <laughs> this could be this could be kind of fun there he's got him there he... When he came oh no oh i got him Oh, oh, dude, I just had one too. Dude, they're so popular. What the heck? I've never even fished here in my life. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Yep. You got him? Yep. There's one. The first fish. That's good. a good one. That's a good one. First fish. That was like my third cast, I think. That's a good one. That's yeah. real good. Yeah, it is. It just spit up a, like a, sank, or a shatter or a Sanko or something. Looks See like that? Sanko. Looks like a little Sanko. My girl. No, I, she definitely shrunk as she came up into the, came out of the water, but hey, I'll take it. She spit up a Senko or something. It was like a white Senko. Yeah, it like a Senko. There we go. That is, that is the first fish. Solid two and a half pounder. There we go. That's a good start. 10 inch worm. I'm telling you guys, I think that's three videos in a row. I've caught good fish on this bait. For some reason in this summer, this is just, this is just my thing. Let's go to the next spot. We're moving. That was a one fish wonder spot. One fish wonder. We had a bunch of bites, but I was only able to land Uno Fisho. So we're gonna move. Next spot. Oh, he's hooked up. First cast. There you go. First freaking cast on the new spot. That was on a jig. A little jig fish. Yeah, that was a long cast. My God. There you go. That's a good fish. A little buckaroo. That's good. That's second fish. First fish after we move spots, though. That's a good sign. There you go. Fish? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Is it a big one? Oh, shoot. Christian's hooked up with the second one. That was just, a, we just switched up angles, is all we really did there. Woo! Little guy. Still no giants. We're still looking for the big ones. They like that jig though. I wonder, if, I wonder if I need to make a little switcheroo. So far we've had, you've caught two? I've caught two, missed like and I, and I caught two. one. Missed a few, caught some. No giants though. We're still looking for the big ones. We still got probably two hours. I don't know what time it is, but we probably got about two hours. Still no big ones. We're just kind of be spot hopping. He's like, see, he's throwing the jig and a drop shot. And I'm throwing a ribbon tail worm and a little bit of a Ned rig. We're gonna go to a tree though. See if see if we can find some in, in some more thicker brush. We've been so far fishing a little bit more sparse stuff, but uh, like I said, we're still looking for big ones. We've only got a couple hours left, so see if we can make something happen. There's one. Just a little guy. Finally caught a fish though. I'll take it. I don't even care at this point. I'll take them. I know this is not what I came here for, but it is just slowed down. We were catching this earlier. We're thinking it's going to pick up once the sun starts to kind of go down a little bit, but for now, it is slowed down. See you guy. Squeak, squeak. McGee right there. Just a little guy. That was on the old finesse Ned rig. We're, we're trying to figure out what these fish are doing. And I guess that guy right there, he's just hanging on these rocks, but no big ones yet. Oh. 
Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> You're good. There you go. Christian's hooked up. Oh, he spit it. Heartbreaker. There's one. Yep. Stay pinned. Better one. Feels pretty decent. Come here, buddy. Woo! Another fish. Uh, I didn't really feel much brush down there. Just He just picked it up. That's a jig fish, though. See, little guy. Still not finding the big ones, but I switched to a... I believe this is a Missouri craw colored jig. Some that somewhat imitates a bluegill. Got a little little craw on the back. And we are just kind of blind casting around here, trying to find some more offshore fish. But I think that's why we're missing them, because they're not that not that big down there. At the beginning of this video, I said I was going after big ones. Have yet to succeed. But we're still catching fish, so you can't complain. The next day. What's going on, flare fishing fam? It is the next day. I didn't want to end the video there. I didn't. I didn't want to make it kind of like a like an okay video where I'm catching a couple small fish. That's just that's not what I wanted for this video. So I'm gonna pick it back up the next morning. I actually wasn't planning on fishing today. I was planning on just getting some work done and editing, but instead I'm out here fishing with Hook and Hogs TV. We are at a pond I've never ever been to before. I didn't even know this existed until like last night. It is. 5:32 a.m. right at sunrise perfect for let's see if we can catch some topwater fish that's the goal today i have no idea if there's any fish in this pond well there's a raccoon oh. got distracted there's a raccoon chasing some geese kind of i've never seen that before oh the geese are now chasing the raccoon okay all right anyways i'm gonna quit talking though because there's a raccoon versus goose fight that i need to go uh need to go watch and there are bass to catch all right, let's do this. What are you starting out with? Frog? Frog and chatterbait. Frog and chatterbait. This kid takes notes. Here we go. Walking down to the pond here. This is like the juiciest looking pond I've seen in a while. So this should be fun. You see the raccoon fight going on yet? Dude, I swear that dude was just whooping some goose's ass. Oh yeah, this place looks saucy. I like it. Let's start off with a spook. I didn't get up at 4.30 this morning to not throw top water. So let's see if we can make some magic happen. A few moments later. Brian's hooked up. What'd you catch that one on? Chatterbait. Ooh, that's a good fish. Yeah, two First fish of the morning. I'll take that. A little chatterbait fish. I just picked up the old stank out. He's throwing a chatterbait. They didn't want the top water this morning. I don't know what the deal was. I thought for sure. I thought for sure it'd be good for top water, but I didn't have anything touch the frog. There's one. Yep. Jeez, that was a, it's literally the worst hook set ever. I wasn't paying any attention at all. That's a big one. Ooh, that's a <laughs> dude, that's a dope. Yes. Dude, oh, that's dude. A three. Yeah, Look easily. Look how fat three. that thing is. <laughs> oh my, that's a football, dude. Dude, that is a absolute football of a fish. I set the hook like an idiot, <laughs> dude. I was not paying any attention at all. That is crazy. What? That is the fattest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> it's literally, <laughs> literally a football. Like, this thing, yeah, that's that's easily three pounds. Yeah. That's, the mouth on it's so small, but that's it's, like, that's like, it's probably like an 18-inch like, fish. Yeah, it's like 18 inches and three pounds. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a freaking brute, dude. Absolute freaking stud. See you later, little guy. Woo! Smoked him. I don't know what I was doing, dude. I like... You were like... <laughs> so I just like... <laughs> like, just like sideways hook set. Oh gosh. Well, that guy was on a watermelon red flake stanko. Just real shallow, really. Not a whole lot to it. It's kind of by the little concrete building thing. Maybe that's holding some fish. That is incredible how fat that fish was. Oh my god. All right, that's good. Let's, uh, let's catch another one. Well, they don't want the top water. I did catch one on a stanko. And uh, I can't get them to beat a frog or a spook, which is kind of surprising. I mean, it's calm and it's got some vegetation. I'm going to run back to the truck and tie on either a chatterbait or a swim jig, kind of whichever one I'm feeling. I'm probably a chatterbait just because you guys know I love throwing a chatterbait. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking I see a lot of bluegills hanging around, so I'm going to try to find something that imitates a bluegill. Senko imitates a bluegill okay, 
but uh, I've got some better baits in my tackle box to use. So let's go. Uh, let's go tie some baits on. Twelve seconds later. I grabbed a little little bluegill colored chatterbait. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but I'm seeing lots of bluegills swim around, so I figured I might as well try to imitate one of those little buggers. Cast it out there, let it sink down, probably to the bottom, and then just slow roll it. There's one, there's one, there's one. Chatterbait fish. Just parallel that bank. I'm seeing a whole, like I said, I've seen a whole bunch of bluegills real shallow here. So I wanted to kind of bring it right through those guys. And I got one. Woo. Chatterbait. 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 That's a good one. That's a quality fish. Oh, baby. Right in the corner of the mouth. I think he's barely even hooked. Just barely. He's kind of skinny, dude. He, he's, yeah, he looks kind of post spawn. Just a, just a little guy, it's an old two pounder. Not bad though, that's the third fish I think. You caught one? Yeah. So that's uh, that's the third fish for hooking hogs and I. Not a, not a bad one. See you later little guy. Hell yeah, all right. That's good. I really didn't expect to catch a fish right there. I just paralleled the bank. Sick, all right, let's catch another one. You got one? Ryan's hooked up. There we go, Ryan just caught, look how fat these things oh are. God. What, that. what? Straight footballs, dude. What did you catch that one on? Chatterbait. Chatterbait. What? That's where I had mine. I wonder if that's the juice. Oh my god. That's like, they're so that's fat. Insane. That's insane. You want, oh, you want to pick? How was that? Was that fun? That was worth freaking... It was good. Yeah. We only fished for not even an hour, I don't think. No, not even an hour. It's only like 6.20. Yeah. yeah, but I just I have so much to do. I'm going, going to a foreign country here. Let's go. I'm going to a foreign country tomorrow or in a day or something like that. So I got to go take care of a whole bunch of stuff, you know, like call the bank and say, hey, don't cancel my cards and all that fun stuff. And uh, I'm also going fishing tonight. So that was, this was my effort to make the video it went from crappy to not so crappy. It's still not the greatest video of all time, but Ryan and I did catch some fish at a new pond, which is kind of exciting. You know, it's kind of exciting to go to new ponds. You got to experiment with new lures. See what they want to eat, and of course they ate a chatterbait and a stanko because those are the best two lures on planet freaking Earth. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.